بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق أجمعين وخاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وحبيب إله العالمين الرسول الأمجد المحمود الأحمد أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المنتجبين واللعن الدائم على أعدائهم أجمعين قال الله سبحانه وتعالى حاميم والكتاب المبين إنا أنزلناه في ليلة مباركة إنا كنا منذرين وقال تعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر صدق الله العلي العظيم The subject about ليلة القدر which is generally translated the night of uh, destiny uh, or the night of value uh, It is very important night, and it is one night in the year. It is in the holy month of Ramadan, and probably from different ahadith, the great night of Laylatul Qadr is the uh, night of 23rd of Ramadan month. Uh, this uh, ayah that I have recited from Surah Al-Dukhan, Hamim wal kitab al-Mubin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say ha meem or ha meem and that is according to some is one swearing by ha meem and the second swear he said I swear by the book that makes manifest the truth wal kitab al mubin surely we revealed it on a blessed night surely we are ever warning therein every wise affair is made distinct so we revealed it the holy quran on a blessed night and that is layla mubaraka here allah called it as a blessed night and naturally the most blessed night is laylatul qadr and in uh, another surah surah al qadr uh, clearly said surely we revealed it on the grand night Uh, now, here, say Laylat Al-Qadr, there, Fi Laylatin Mubaraka. So, uh, here called it Al-Qadr. Uh, and what will make you comprehend what the grand night is? The grand night is better than a thousand months. The angels and the Ruh descend in it by the permission of their Lord for every affair. Peace, it is till the break of the morning. Now here, uh, let us say in, in short, the Holy Quran was descent uh, on this night because in some ayahs, it is in month of Ramadan, like Shahru Ramadan, الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. And then in Surah Al-Dukhan, uh, it said in Layla Mubaraka, in a blessed night. And here in Surah Al-Qadr, clearly said, uh, we have uh, revealed it on Layla Al-Qadr. Layla Al-Qadr, uh, the Holy Quran was um, descended to the um, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam. But we know the Holy Quran came within 23 years life of the Holy Prophet after Ba'tha. His age was 40 at the time of Ba'tha when he was sent as a prophet and um, he died at the age of 63. So total 23 years is the uh, age of the message uh, uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam delivered it to the people. So the Holy Quran used to come in all these 23 years. Uh, so how come the Holy Quran came in one night or came in 23 nights? Here, um, the ulama said, there is a difference between an- anzale and nazale. 
Anzale means uh, direct and sudden uh, and total uh, bringing it down, you know, descent. So it was whole Quran was descended on the heart of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in one night. And then the, the wording of Quran, the language of the Quran, the ayah by ayah, verse by verse, this came within 23 years. So the meanings of the Holy Quran used to be known by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the wording of the Holy Quran, he used to wait till Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala uh, revealed it to him. Uh, that is um, probably one of the best explanations. Uh, and some said it was, it was uh, uh, sent down or revealed down uh, uh, on uh, till uh, Baytul Ma'mur. Baytul Ma'mur, uh, it is said that it is similar to the Kaaba. In Kaaba, the sacred mosque of in Mecca, in Masjid al-Haram, the Kaaba is there. The people, the human beings, are doing tawaf and uh, pilgrimage, hajj every year. Similar to it, called Bayt al-Ma'mur, that is in heaven. That is for the angels to do tawaf and uh, uh, to visit that uh, uh, continuously. Where is Bayt al-Ma'mur? In some Hadith said it is in the Sama al-Ula, the first sky, maybe our sky. And some said on the fourth sky, Sama al-Rabi'a. You know there are seven uh, skies, uh, so it is on the seventh sky. Uh, so uh, that is what uh, is mentioned uh, in the Hadith about this. So uh, importance of this night uh, itself is a important night. And now the question comes, how come one night be important uh, out of the creation of Allah? For us, all the nights look similar. Yesterday and today and tomorrow for us is similar. All the nights are similar. But we see in the religious belief and teachings, the nights are not similar. Laylatul Jumu'ah, for example, is very important night. Laylatul Eid, for example, is important night. Laylat Nisaf bin Sha'ban is important night. Or the day of Eid is important day, has special a'mal, special dealing. Dahwal Ard, that is special a'mal. So the days are not similar or equal according to the religious education. So this night, Laylatul Qadr, is a special night. And that means it has a cosmic effect, um, universal effect uh, related to this night. That is why the angels from heaven comes down to the maybe the first sky, if it is in Bayt al Ma'mur, or to the heart of the Holy Prophet, and they um, uh, descended the Holy Quran and revealed it to him uh, in this holy night. Not only that, in this night, um, it is this night, the Holy Quran said, is more important than a thousand months. So a thousand months is more than 80 years. Uh, so a thousand months, uh, because one night has so much uh, value, the, our a'mal, our ibadah, our um, good deeds, that will be multiplied uh, uh, thousands time uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in, in a hadith he said if not that Allah will multiply your good deeds you would not have uh, reached the paradise with your deeds you know our deeds are small uh, you give donation one dollar ten dollars you buy paradise with ten dollars uh, this is no value Allah will increase this ten into ten times in hadith, seven hundred times in the Quran, or Wallah will laugh, Allah will add more, maybe seven thousand, seven million, we don't know. Allah will increase, increase, increase our good deeds, so it will be that great paradise for us. 
in, uh, in the hereafter, inshallah, for everybody. So what I mean, uh, the, the good deeds in this night uh, is equal to a, a thousand uh, months which have no Laylatul Qadr. Of course, every year there is Laylatul Qadr, but that is if it has no Laylatul Qadr. Uh, what happens in this holy night? Uh, he said, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ والروح. The angels and the ruh, the ruh, the spirit. We said before about the ruh, either the ruh is another name for Jibreel, as some translators write it, or the ruh is an, a creation uh, more important and bigger than uh, Jibreel and Mikael, uh, those two angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, descended on the heart of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that is ruh al-Qudus. Ruh uh, al-Qudus uh, is separate from the um, archangel Jibreel. Uh, so probably that is the one who is descend uh, in, in this uh, night. Uh, so they bring down what, you know, uh, they bring by permission of their Lord for every affair, min kulli amr, every affair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which has been decreed for the mankind will come in this night. The angels will bring it down and will bring it down where? To whom it will be delivered? Who is responsible? Who is the medium in order to get that blessing of Allah and distribute it among the mankind? You know, We know the infallible uh, Imam, the uh, Imam al-Mahdi in our time, well, at the time of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet himself, you know. So uh, the angels come to him, and from him, uh, the blessings will be distributed to the people, or let us say, by his permission, the angels will uh, give everybody whatever Allah has decreed for him. Uh, and this night is a peaceful night, uh, remain till the morning, Hatta matla'il. Al-Fajr till the break of the morning. Uh, so that is in short about uh, Laylatul Qadr. Now when we come to a hadith, they explain it in more details. First of all, it is said that not one night is Laylatul Qadr. Uh, the night of 19, and means 18 every evening, we call it night of 19 and night of 21 and night of 23rd. I mean, tomorrow is 23rd of Ramadan month, so tonight we call it night of 23rd. Well, maybe in English you say 22nd night, you know, which is night of 23rd. Uh, however, uh, in all these three nights, they are called Laylatul Qadr. And in some hadith, other nights, maybe Laylatul Qadr, because there is no definite, but these are from Different ahadith, we uh, reach to this conclusion. Otherwise, it is not known exactly which night uh, is that night. So in hadith uh, from uh, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, uh, he said that uh, uh, during the night of the 19th of the month of Ramadan, uh, it is the ordainment of the people. في ليلة تسع عشر من شهر رمضان التقدير تقدير ordainment I mean let us say this is maybe the best translation تقدير to make the qadr the size the, the, the faith the amount of the things you know. Uh, let us put it in a, a modern language the annual budget of the mankind will be uh, made ready on the night of 19. So that in that budget, it is mentioned um, who is going to die, who is going to live, who is going to get money, will lose money, has health, has a blessing, go for hajj, not go for hajj, all, what, what, all things which um, will happen to each and everyone 
in that night will be ordained at the beginning, you know. And then uh, during the night of the 21st is the accomplishment, al-qadha, qadha, the decision, accomplishment. Let us say uh, the angels will collect the files on the night of 19. By night of 21, they completed the everything. They said, well, everything now is complete. The only thing need a signature of the imam in order to uh, happen. Uh, so that is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send these affairs by the angels and all those decisions will be taken. Accomplishment will be there. And during the night of the 23rd, they call Ibram ma yakun fi sana, confirmation. So let us say, signed by the imam, so it will be confirmed. So whatever is confirmed here uh, will be definitely confirmed, except we will see in some hadith there are some more details. Let us come to the um, other hadith. Um, the important of this night is that the, the Holy Quran will remain with, in it because Imam Sallallahu said, لو رفعت ليلة القدر لا رفع القرآن if ليلة القدر would have been removed the Holy Quran would have been removed because the blessings of the Holy Quran it comes through Layl al Qadr. So if there is no Layl al Qadr, that blessing will not come. Now, if you know in the Holy Quran, there is everything written, whatever uh, the people need in their life uh, is written. Tabiyanun li kulli shay is explanation for everything. The Holy Quran. So we know that Layl al Qadr and the Holy Quran are together, you know, they are related to the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the mankind for his creatures you know. in a third hadith from Imam al-Sadiq is mentioning not only the Holy Quran was revealed in Ramadan month but other uh, holy books of Allah were revealed he said the Torah the Old Testament it was revealed in sixth night of Ramadan and the Injil the New Testament in uh, 12th night of Ramadan and Zabur of Dawood, sons of David, in uh, 18th, uh, night of 18th of Ramadan, and um, the Holy Quran in Laylatul Qadr, uh, which is the 23rd. Uh, and then Imam al-Sadiq in another hadith says, the good deeds, al-amal al-salih fiha, khayrun min al-amal fi alfi shahrin laysa fiha Laylatul Qadr. The good deeds in this night is better than uh, a thousand months uh, which has no Laylatul Qadr. Uh, what is written here in uh, Suleyman al-Mirwazi uh, asking Imam al-Ridha alayhi salam, Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha alayhi salam, tell me about Laylatul Qadr, about what it has been revealed. Imam said, oh Suleyman, Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will decree, will decide uh, everything happening from the year to the year, uh, from life or death or good or evil or uh, sustainment, uh, rizq. Uh, so all these things are being uh, destined and decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this night. فَمَا قَدَّرَهُ فِي تِلْكَ اللَّيْلَ فَهُوَ مِنَ الْمَحْتُومِ Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed it in that night, then it is definite, mahtum. It will happen definitely, will not change, you know. Now, we see in, in another hadith, uh, they give uh, more uh, details about this point. Uh, Imam al-Baqir was asked about Laylatul Qadr. He said the angels and the ruh is coming down with the katabah, those who write to the sama dunya the sky of our worldly life, you know. And they write whatever going to happen uh, in the next year and whatever the people are going to face and then he said and that affair is in hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him uh, the wish and the will of Allah is there you know so Allah can move it back and forth you know something decided to happen but Allah can change it a bad thing to happen, change it to good, or good thing to happen, will change it to bad, 
naturally according to the deeds of the people. Uh, so Allah may uh, bring forward what he want or delay what he want and that is uh, when Allah said يَمْحُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِتُ وَعِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ Allah will delete what he want and confirm and with him is the mother of the book. No. So from these two hadith it shows that some of the things are confirmed definitely mahtum. Other things are not definite are in lawh al-mahwi wal-ithbat, the tablet of deletion and confirmation. So in those, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may change it. Of course, the real knowledge of what is going to happen is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Umm al-Kitab. That will not change. The knowledge where the, uh, the imam or the prophet or the angels, they know it, that will change because they can see the tablet of confirmation and deletion. That tablet, they can see it. The mother of the book, they may not be able to see it, you know. So they see something is going to happen, but then last moment, it will change. You know, something happened when somebody should, will get car accident and he will die today. And then suddenly, his mother, at the night, because he was good with his mother, he brought her a gift. His mother said, oh, may Allah give you long life, my son. You did very good. And Allah accepted the prayer of the mother and he prevented car accident to kill him. So he will stay. So if his mother would not have prayed for him, he would have got the car accident. And that Allah knows in Umm Al-Kitab, that in the last moment, his mother will pray for him. But the angels do not know about it. The angels will say, you know, when this man is, suppose at this moment he is going to cross the road and there is a driver coming, he is not aware of it, and he is very fast in his speed, and he will hit the person and will kill him. So that, the plan is there. So the angels, they see it. They haven't seen that in the last moment his mother prayed for his long life, or he paid a charity, a poor man came and asked him for help, and he helped that poor man. For that charity, this hazard was prevented. Of course, here there are two, two types of uh, things. Some are mahtum, definite. Those will not change, uh, you know, because that is a definite. And there are some uh, things uh, not definite. That will change. Will change by, let us say, prayer, by charity, by goodness etc. for there are many many reasons you know so in this night Laylatul Qadr it looks that there are two types of the deeds some deeds are definite some are depending on the will and wish of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam in a um, detailed hadith uh, relating to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he relayed the wording to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he told him, Iqra inna anzalna, read, O oh, Muhammad, read inna anzalna, because in it your attributes are nisbatu ahli baytik ila yawm al qiyamah. Fa inna ha nisbatuk wa nisbatu ahli baytik ila yawm al qiyamah. It is your attributes and attributes of your ahlul bayt, your household, till the day of judgment. What does that mean? It means that it is revealed that all the affairs of Malaika will come down to the heart of the Holy Prophet وسلم, himself. And if he dies, naturally the Imam, the infallible Imam after him, will uh, get these um, uh, position and the blessings of Allah will come to him and with his signature and confirmation everything will go to uh, all the uh, mankind, you know. Uh, now, another hadith from Amir al-Mu'minin alayhi salam, uh, Imam uh, Salamullah alayhi, telling Ibn Abbas that Laylatul Qadr is in every year. Because there was a question, is Laylatul Qadr present only at the life of the Holy Spirit, uh, of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? And when he dies, then Laylatul Qadr will be removed or it will continue. We hear about hadith that 
if Laylatul Qadr would have been removed, the Quran will go with it because Quran came in that night, you know. Uh, so it will not remove, uh, not be removed, it will continue. So Imam Ali alayhi salam confirmed this to Ibn Abbas that Laylatul Qadr is in every year. In that night, the affair of that year will uh, descend down. And for that affair, there are guardians after the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there are guardians who will get the blessing of Allah. Ibn Abbas asked him, who are then those people? Imam Ali said, I and 11 um, person from my um, descendants, and it means total 12 imams, you know. They are the guardians, they are the imams, and um, the angels and the blessing of Allah will come through them. Uh, well, in another hadith from Imam al-Sadiq salam about Surah Inna Anzalna, he is telling Mufadhal ibn Amr, مَا أَبْيَنَ فَضْلُهَا عَلَى الْمَشْهُودِ what is a clear uh, um, uh, favor and blessing of it uh, for uh, the uh, th th things which are seen and uh, uh, the people witness. Uh, he said, okay, but what is its greatness and what is its favor? Nothing special looks in it. Imam said, no. نَزَلَتْ وِلَايَةُ أَمِيرِ الْمُؤْمِنِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ فِيهَا the authority of Amir al-Mu'mineen among the mankind, like authority of, of the Prophet, because the Holy Prophet وسلم, said in the khutbah, uh, in the great sermon of Ghadir Khum, Man kuntu mawla fa'adha Ali al-Mawla. Whoever I am his master, Ali is his master. Or whoever I am his guardian, Ali is his guardian. Uh, now translation of Mawla means awla bihi. Uh, so uh, because he is the prophet and he is the guardian and the master of the people who guide them to the right side and give them the right teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, uh, wh whoever I am his master, then Ali is his master also. And after Ali, the rest of the imams, salamu alayhim, are uh, the master of the world. So here, this hadith, they said, وَهِيَ لَيْلَةٌ قُدَّرَتْ فِيهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ In this night, he said, مَا أَبْيَنْ فَاللَّهَا What is clear, it's uh, merits or it's greatness. Because first of all, the heaven and earth was decreed, the creation, the size, the things, all taqdeer, all that. And he said, وَقُدِّرَتْ وِلَايَةُ أَمِيرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ فِيهَا and also wilayat of Amir al-Mu'mineen was decreed in this night. And you see this hadith goes along what we have already discussed in the last uh, few nights from beginning of the month of Ramadan till, till today. That Amir al-Mu'mineen salam Allah, his wilaya was written at time of creation of heaven and earth. It, it was written that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger and Ali is there advisor and supporter of the Prophet. And we read one night about the hadith that the paradise has eight doors. On each door was written, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Aliyun Waliyullah. So, Wilayat of Amir al is there beside the Prophethood of the Holy Prophet, uh, beside the uh, uh, Tawheed of Allah, that there is no God of Allah. That is the real believe and that the real uh, kalima, the word one, has to say. So he said in that wilaya in Laylatul Qadr also was uh, destined, you know, like the heaven and earth, the wilaya, the, the same. You know. um, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in another hadith, Aswag ibn Nubata, Nubata, he related to Imam Ali alayhi salam, who said that the Holy Prophet told me, Ya Ali, do you know what is meaning of Laylatul Qadr? I said, no, Messenger of Allah. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qaddara fiha, decreed what is in it till the day of judgment. So there is one taqdeer 
from the first night, which was created maybe before the creation of this world, that is the decision of Allah, this is going to happen till day of judgment. That decree is on Laylatul Qadr at that one. And in this world now, it is coming gradually every year, it's coming day by day. So you say Allah has decreed what is it till the day of judgment. فَكَانَ فِي مَا قَدَّرَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ وَلَايَتُكَ وَوَلَايَتُ الْعِمَّةِ مِنْ وُلْدِكَ إِلَى يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And was among what Allah has decreed is your authority and authority of your uh, of the imams from your children till the day of judgment. Means the imamate of the children of Amir al-Mu'in continues till the day of judgment. This means also that Imam al-Mahdi was already born because if he uh, is going to be born at the end of the time like our Sunni brothers believe, then there is a cut, there is no Imam. Imam Hassan al-Askari died and there is no Imam till uh, Imam al-Mahdi will be born. So that is not possible. So here he said, uh, the Imamate of the um, children of uh, Ali alayhi uh, salam, the imams till day of judgment. So that is why what we believe that Imam al-Mahdi ajallahu ta'ala farajah was born at the year 255 and at the year 260 he has the um, uh, short occultation and then after that the um, uh, long occultation um, or the a great occultation till today is, is happening, you know. Um, well, in Asul al-Kafi, and related to uh, Abi Abdullah alayhi salam, Imam al-Sadiq, Ali alayhi salam uh, used to say uh, many times, kathiran ma yaqul, ishtama' al-taymi wal-adi and Rasulullah, the first and second ones, uh, they were beside the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he used to recite Inna Anzalna uh, with khushu and uh, weeping and crying and um, uh, being near to Allah. They used to tell him, um, you are very strict about this surah. Uh, why uh, like that, that you read it very carefully? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Said, Lima Raat Aini, Wawa Kalbi, Walima Yara Kalb, Kalbu Hada Min Badi, because of what my eye see and my heart uh, realize, and what heart of this pointing to Imam Ali alayhi salam, is going to see uh, after me. They said, And what you have seen in it, then he used to write on the uh, ground, you know, on the earth, you know. تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنَ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ The angels and the ruh will descend down by permission of God with every affair. Uh, then the Prophet used to say, هَلْ بَقِيَ شَيْءٍ بَعْدَ قَوْلِهِ عَزَّ وَيَكُلِّ أَمْرٍ From every affair. So he said, Anything remained after what Allah said, every affair, means each and everything will be written. Nothing will remain. So it's stressing about this point, from every affair. So if every affair written, then nothing remained un unwritten. You know. Uh, so they used to say no. Then he said, do you know to whom uh, these things are descend? descended down they said you uh, ya rasulullah the messenger of allah that will come down the the angels and the ruh is coming down to you uh, he said uh, yes but will laylatul qadr continue after me they used to say yes it will continue then he said after me anything will be descended from Allah down in that night with every affair, they said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. He said, to whom it will come down? The time of the Prophet, everything come down on the Holy Prophet After the Prophet to whom? 
And he's talking with whom? With the first and the second. So they said, La nadri wal. We don't know, Ya Rasulullah. After you, these angels and ruh will come, will come down with every affair. Every affair, nothing remained. And will come upon whom? Then he used to take head of Ali and he said, If you do not know, then know. He is after me. Then Imam Ali السلام, said, They used to know that night after the Holy Prophet وسلم, because they get fear uh, severely in that night. But the Prophet told them that he is the one after me. And they heard it very clearly from the Holy Prophet. But they did not uh, practice and did not um, accept, unfortunately. Yeah. So uh, that, is, uh, that is the thing. Uh, and there is an, 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 an Rawdatul Kafi uh, hadith. Imam uh, al Sadr said, the Archangel uh, Jibreel came down to the Holy Prophet and he was uh, in a, a sorrow uh, and um, severe sorrow. He said, Ya Rasulullah, why you are Ka'ib and Hazina in this sorrow situation? The Holy Prophet said, I saw a dream yesterday. Uh, Jibreel asked, what was the dream? He said, I saw Bani Umayyah, they rise on my pulpit and come down so the Holy Prophet was very much annoyed that how come Bani Umayyah will sit on the pulpit of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the Archangel Jibreel said, uh, I swear by he who has sent you as a messenger, I have no idea about it. Uh, but uh, then Jibreel uh, was ascended up and uh, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sent him down with this ayah of Quran, أَفَرَأَيْتَ إِمَّا تَعْنَاهُمْ سِنِينَ ثُمَّ جَاءَهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يُعَدُونَ مَا أَغْنَى عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يُمَتَّعُونَ If you see that if we allow them for some years to enjoy and after that whatever is promised by Allah I mean to punish them will come so whatever uh, life, good life they have it will not help them. It means Allah will destroy them, their power, their life, their kingdom, their uh, government, all will not protect him. You know, that is in Surah Al Shu'ara, verse 207. And Allah brought Surah Inna Anzalna fi Laylat Al Qadr, and He said, It is better than a thousand nights for those people, um, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, better than a thousand months in which those people will rule it, it means so Allah made you one night Ya Rasulullah better than a thousand months which is more than 80 years and that was the time of the government of Bani Umayyah about 83 years you know it is uh, a thousand divided by 12 you know? uh, so um, here uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Telling the Prophet, one night in the year has more blessing than a thousand months or about 82, 83 years they are uh, going to rule, you know. And in hadith from Imam Sadiq related to uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam, uh, similar to this hadith, he said, the Holy Prophet وسلم, got a little sleepy, you know, a nap uh, and while he was on the pulpit, on the member, and he saw in his dream uh, men who are um, going on his pulpit, they are like the, the monkeys uh, who, who jump, um, and they turning the people back, you know, turning back mean from Islam to Jahiliya, to ignorant era. So the only Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after that nap he, he sat and um, he was um, in a sorrow that even his face shows that uh, he, he is not happy. So Archangel Jibreel came with this ayah, 
وما جعلنا الرؤيا التي أريناك إلا فتنة للناس والشجرة الملعونة في القرآن ونخوفهم فما يزيدهم إلا طغيانا كبيرا that is سورة الإسراء آية 60 and we have not made the dream that you have seen except a fitna a test for people uh, and the cursed tree in the Quran the cursed tree is whom? Bani Umayyah the tree all the descendants of Bani Umayyah are the cursed tree as is mentioned in the Quran and we um, tell them something to fear but they will not care and they will are transgressors that increase in their tyranny and transgression uh, so uh, the hadith is saying Bani Umayya. he means Bani Umayya. Um, the Holy Prophet asked O Jibreel it is in my time when I am living uh, and in, in uh, my days he said no but the Islam uh, will continue after your migration and stay 10 uh, then after that uh, 35 literally 10 years is after that death of the Holy Prophet 35 is when beginning imamate of Amir السلام, and will stay 5 years after 35 and after that la buddha man ruha dalala hiya qa'ima the misguided people that will come and will rule and mulkul fara'ina the kingdom like pharaohs will, will rule and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر that better than a thousand month ruled by Bani Umayya which has no ليلة القدر for them uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, showed his prophet about uh, Bani Umayya and uh, they are going to uh, rule uh, and uh, with that they hate Ahlul Bayt and hate uh, the followers Ahlul Bayt and she has of Ahl al uh, and what suffering they are going to see. Uh, that is the hadith in short. Um, I think uh, sufficient up to here. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to be um, included among the prayers of Imam, Imam al-Zamanina, Imam al-Mahdi, ajallallahu ta'ala farajah in this uh, holy nights and in all ways in all the year Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad Allahumma kulli waliyika al-hujjat ibn al-hasan salawatuka alayhi wa ala abaih fi hadhi al-sa'a wa fi kulli sa'a waliyya wa hafidha wa qa'idha wa nasira wa dalila wa ayna hatta tuskinahu arzaka taw'a wa tumatti'ahu fiha tawila rahmatika ya arhamar rahameen may Allah include us among the followers and the Shias and the supporters of Ahlul Bayt Salamu Alayhim in this dunya and grant us their intercession in Akharat and grant us to drink from uh, hand of Amir al Mu'minin uh, a cup of water from Hawd al Kawthar after which we will never feel thirsty and may Allah grant us to cross the Sirat like the uh, speed of the light and may Allah grant us to be included with Muhammad Ali Muhammad in A'la Aliyin, the highest position with the martyrs and the good people. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa alihi al-tahirin. Allahumma shalli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum.